You're here because you want to make an impact on the world, a difference on the world with your products. Your products solve a problem that people have. You are growing an audience because you want to make a difference in them. You want to help them solve problems, help them have a better life, right? That's why you're here. And in order to do that, though, we have to have a couple of different elements. Now, if you're just entering the, the, the quiz, the journey in this video, I want you to know you may need to go back a bit. So let me review real fast with you. We all want to explode our businesses. And that means we are going to have our rockets take off through the world. To do that though, we have several different parts of our rocket. The bottom part is our ad account. That's basically the gasoline. You're going to put money in and it's the gasoline that's going to uh, erupt your account. And then before that, we've got the engine. And that's your business manager. So if you don't have an ad account yet, and you don't have your business manager set up, you, you gotta go do those things first. But it's not enough to just have an ads account or to have a business manager. You now need the brains of your engine, of your rocket. And that is the pixel. Now, here's what a lot of people forget. The pixel only works when you have tracking installed. Without tracking, there is no direction for your pixel. The thing is guys, without tracking, there's no direction for your ads, no direction for your pixel. Your business is aimless. Tracking is what makes it all work. Now, we talked earlier about the pixel, right? And basically it's the barcode that tracks what you're doing and your behavior online. Kind of like the kids at the arcade, right? They have something that tracks their behavior. Same thing happens with the pixel. But how do we know what is tracking? How do we see the results? How do we even um, make the, that, that barcode actually work? So at the arcade game, there's the girl at the register, right? And she types in, kid with this barcode gets this much money and is only allowed to play in this area. Um, she tracks that, right? That is the tracking system that I want all of you to begin using, okay? So there's really the two different ways of tracking because the barcode alone is not enough. Just like the kid wearing the, the pixel, the barcode at the arcade game, it's not enough for mom to know where he is in the place, right? What helps her know where those kids are is the tracking actual device which says, hey, this kid passed through the, the system at this point and they're stuck in this room right now playing these games. That helps the mom know where those kids are in that game center. Now we need to add that tracking or that brain. So there's two different ways that we add the tracking in the brain. The first of those ways is what I think is the more, more complicated one, snippets. It's more complicated unless you're using a shopping cart. So if you're using like WooCommerce or you're using Shopify, they come pre-installed with snippets. So for you, snippets are easier. For the rest of us, for me, snippets can add complexity. So I choose, instead of using snippets to track my audience, I use custom conversion URLs. For the sake of this video, guys, I'm going to show you, one, where to find snippets. If you're not a programmer and you're not a web page designer, I would suggest that you avoid snippets, if you're not comfortable in the back end of your site, so avoid snippets and instead use custom conversion URLs. So I'm going to show you where to find the snippets and then I'm going to show you how to use custom conversions using URLs because for me, that's how I track 
sales coming in to my business from my ads because I want my business's rocket to take off. I want to grow my audience and grow my business at the same time without spending as much on ads. Hang on tight guys, because I'm going to show you those two things right now. How do we track with the Facebook Pixel? Facebook literally tells us how to use their product so that we can get the best results. You can find this information that I'm telling you in developers.facebook.com. They've got a whole guide on using the pixel, on implementation, how to put the code in, how to install it, all the other stuff, and then um, how to measure if the conversions are tracking. And that's what we're going to go over right now. We're going to distill this for you and talk to you about standard events. I call those snippets. And then we're also going to talk to you about custom conversions and how you can track using our URLs. Before we do that though, before we do that, I want to talk to you about Pixel um, Helper. What this is, is a Chrome extension that Facebook's given to us. I want all of you to go and install it. You're going to use this to test to see if your pixel is installed correctly. So I can go right now into this site right here. It's Facebook's own site, Facebook's Pixel Helper. You can see the pixels that Facebook has running on this page right now. Anyone can see it. You can only view the analytics though of your own pixel data. So, okay, so I want all of you to go get this um, Chrome extension. It is going to help you track um, your pixel and make sure it's working. So that's number one for you. Second thing that I want you to do is understand um, what we call standard snippets, but they're standard events. So inside of Facebook, they tell you that there's three different ways to track conversion. One is standard events, two is custom events, and the third one is custom conversions. My favorite way to track is custom conversions, but some of you may be using a tag manager. If you don't know if you're using a tag manager, I would go and contact the person who helped you set up your website. Okay, so we've got custom uh, um, conversions. Custom conversions for me is the easiest way to set up my conversion tracking if I don't have a tag manager, if I don't have a team doing this for me, if I'm not on Shopify or WooCommerce, one of those platforms that kind of does this for me because they put the codes in. Okay, then if you have a tag manager, if you have uh, are on one of those Shopify type of programs, then you can use standard events. And I wanna show you what those are right now because a lot of you, this is relevant for you. You already have a tag tracking system set up. So let's go see what a, a standard event is so you can use these if you're in Shopify, if you're in WooCommerce, if you're in those types of platforms. Have you ever seen a Rube Goldberg machine? It's one of those machines. It's like a big old maze and the marble drops and it lands in a bucket and then the bucket catapults that marble up into the air and it lands on a pillow that then causes something else to happen. That is what these are. Think of it like an online Rube Goldberg machine. Each one of these is a trigger, like the, the marble landing in the bucket. Each one of these is a trigger to tell Facebook something happened so this next action can take place. So add to cart. If you have this trigger on a website, when someone lands on that website, it sends a message to Facebook and says, somebody added this product into their cart. It doesn't mean they purchased it. It meant they added it to their cart. If they end up not purchasing, guess what? You need to follow up with this person and find out why it's been added to their cart, but they never followed through. Another one, um, contact. This means that they gave you their email, right? Um, donate. They gave you a donation. Find location, lead, page view, purchase. Guys, this is the most common one. Purchase. Did they buy from you? Well, then you're going to give them this little trigger, this little snippet that's going to follow them and say this person purchased so they get to be followed with content that says, I'm so glad you signed up. Or, or, do you have any questions? Can we help you further? Um, okay. 
I want you guys to know these are the common snippets. All of them are right here. What we do with them is we take them and we add them into our pixel code. If you are brand new to this, guys, I really would suggest that this is not a task for you. This is a task for you to hire someone to do for you or to do the easier route. So the snippets, you take them and you add these little words into the coding of your page. You literally go in and you copy and paste these snippets of coding into your page. There is an easier way though, right? The easier way is custom conversions. What you need to do is you need to go to your drop down menu and then into your ads manager. So I go to manage my ads and from managing my ads, I want to go into my events manager. Now what I want to do is I want to create um, custom conversions. And to do that, I'm going to go to this sidebar here to the star where it says custom conversions. So that's it. Pretty nifty. You go in here and guys, Facebook literally kind of walks you through it. Create a custom conversion. So I'm going to click on that. Now notice I'm going to name mine became a member just to kind of like make it as a test here for you. This would be if I'm, if I had a promotion at a certain time, like if this is just my June launch or my January launch, I might say January promo um, so that that way it's clear for me which uh, promotion it is. But honestly, guys, this is a test. So I'm just going to write in here test. Okay. Now I've got that here. We want to now create this based on URL traffic. And we're going to say that the URL traffic, if it contains certain words. So if the URL traffic contains the word moolah.life, then I know it is coming from my website, right? And if the URL, cause notice I did the plus sign and the URL contains the words, thank you. I know that they ordered my product. So moolah.life um, plus thank you plus, and I'm going to say, get the course um, course so that that way I know that it's also my course that's in there. I know if it has moolah.life plus thank you plus course that they have purchased my product. So I can go down here. I'm going to click a conversion value. This means we're going to say how much this means to me. This means to me 997 because I know if somebody signs up for my program and they've landed on my thank you page, that means that they purchased my program because they only get to the thank you page. If they have purchased, then I get to use 997. So I don't have to think about is this snippet edited in my code? All I have to do is make sure my URL follows standard naming conventions. What do I mean by that? Has my domain name. It has the word thank you. It has the product. I know that they purchased my product. Now let's say, so that's a conversion value. I could hit create, which I don't want to do because it's going to ruin my current system. I could create and it's done or, um, yeah, so I'm, but I'm not going to hit create. Instead, I'm going to walk you through. Let's say it's not someone who purchased my course, but let's say it's someone who came to my sales page and thought about buying my course. So what I want to do now is sales page bus course, right? So I know anyone who came to this page, they are interested in my course. They're a very hot lead. We want to send them retargeting traffic. But because they haven't gone to thank you page, I'm not going to give them a conversion value. For me, guys, this is how we set up all of my um, trackings. Because for me, I don't need to worry about did I put the right snippet in the right place? Is this code going to break? All I need to do is make sure my pixel is installed and then that I follow naming conventions. Let me show you my actual sales page so you can see it in action. Okay, so this is my sales page right here. You can see I've got Facebook Pixel Helper installed and it tells you there's my pixel and you can even click through and you can see my analytics of the pixel working. Okay, so the pixels here, the pixels here, this is where people can go and purchase my program, right? So it's here, it's running, I've got it. Now, how do I track that though? I track that 
in the back end of my site. Now, just so you know, I give you guys my sales page if you guys wanna copy it. So if you wanna see this in action, let me know and we'll send you the sales page so you can you can download it. Um, it is a fee, you have to be part of ClickFunnels to get it, but we, we do give that to people. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna show you the pixel installed. So here's my pixel in this area right here. You just stick it into the head tracking center, but I'm not putting little snippets in. What I'm doing instead is I'm using a naming convention. There it is, guys. There's the URL, the domain, moolah.life. I know they came to my website, this website. I have multiple domains, so I use the domain. And then I do the product, my course. So every time I sell my course, I use the word course. And then this means that they've come to the sales page, right? But for me to know that they actually bought my product, I need to know that they clicked over to the thank you page. So notice on this URL, it has the word course because they purchased my, they came to the course and the word thank you. So I know this person is a course buyer. If they landed on this page, ka-ching, ka-ching, I made 900 and something bucks. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Do not overthink it. You don't have to make all the bells and the whistles. Keep it simple. Now you just saw we set up custom tracking with you, but how do you know if your pixel's working? How do you know if custom tracking is working? Just so that you know, we cover all of this inside of our program. So this is like a fast overview, but if you go into your ads manager, you can see re your ad campaigns that you have running. So right now you can see that I have a GYA Evergreen. I sell my course on Evergreen right now. You can see the ad, how much I'm spending a day, and you can see how much I'm getting for leads for that. I'm getting $1.65 leads into my funnel. Isn't this beautiful how you can see the data and then from the data you can take actions to help you earn money, make money from your business using the pixel, using tracking. You did it. You've learned all about ads. At this point, guys, you have your pixel installed. You know how to track with your pixel. Now it's time to learn how to create conversion ads and engagement ads that track what your audience is doing. So if this has been at all helpful for you, I would love to see you inside of our masterclass. In our masterclass, we go through how to build an audience organically, how to use that audience to grow your business to massive levels without breaking your bank. I hope to see you inside of our masterclass.